Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you my top 10 must-have apps that I use every day on my MacBook. These apps make my life easier, boost my productivity, and help me get the most out of my MacBook. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first one we have is Blip. And now Blip is used for file transfer between devices. So when I need to get video files from my Android phone over to my MacBook, this is what I use. Or if I'm transferring files from my MacBook over to my phone, Blip has been a lifesaver for that. So the cool thing about Blip, it's transferring directly over your Wi-Fi to your phone. So it's not uploading to some type of cloud service and then you have to download the files from that. It's just going directly from your MacBook over to your phone. You can see here, you don't need to put things in like zip folders or anything like that. And it's secure, so you're not sharing any web links like that. You're sending directly to your device. To download Blip, you just need to go to blip.net. I'll leave a link in the description below to it. And if we go to downloads, so you'll download a copy onto your Mac and then you can go to the Google Play Store and put it on your Android phone or even your tablet. You can also put it on your iPhone or iPad, but I'm guessing if you have an iPhone or iPad, you're probably going to be using AirDrop. But this is like the closest thing to AirDrop I've found that works really well. So the other great thing, this is free. I'm going to quickly show you how it works. So all you need to do is find the file you want to transfer. So I have this video file here, which is one gig, and I'll just right click on it come down to blip and then I've already connected my phone to it so I just select the device I want to transfer to which is my phone it's just going to transfer over my Wi-Fi connection over to my phone okay so then once it's transferred um, you can see it's picked it up on my phone and we can open the blip app and we can see my file is right there on the phone Okay, so the next one is called Magnet and you can get this from the App Store. I paid, I think, $4.99 for it. So this one's a real simple one. This is just an app so you can snap your windows into corners so you can view multiple windows at once. Now, I've been a long-term Windows computer user and I'm only recently moving over to Mac. So not having this built in to me was something that I really struggled with and this was probably one of the first apps I actually installed onto this MacBook and it's been super handy. So, so once you've installed Magnet, it's really easy. You can just pretty much grab any window and drag it into certain spots on your screen and then snap the window in place. So this is perfect for when you're trying to multitask and you want multiple things open. You can go full screen, you can snap it on the side snap it over here um, and it's just something super handy and super simple that really helps you with your multitasking while you're working okay so next we have an app called bartender and bartender is a perfect way to keep your menu icons up here or organized so you can see here there's a little arrow and all of my icons are hidden behind that arrow so with the bartender app so you can put any apps up here that you want to display all the time. So usually I have my memory and CPU usage up here so I can see it while I'm working. And then down here are the hidden menu bar items. And these are the ones that are hiding behind the arrow. So I put all of the things that I use regularly in here. And then down here I have hidden menu bar items and these are the menu bar items that I don't want to show at all. So things like my um, Wi-Fi, my now playing, like I don't need to see my Notion and a few of these other apps. I don't need to see them at all up there. So I hide them completely. You can also add spaces just to separate things and make it look a little bit nicer you can even hide away like the system default stuff like your battery you can put that down there if you want to hide that as well so it's a perfect way to keep your menu bar a lot more organized so if you want to check out bartender you can do that through their website you can do their free trial for four weeks or you can buy it directly through them. I use Bartender through my set app subscription. So I'll leave that link below if you want to check that out. Okay, so up next, we're going to take a look at CleanShot X. And this software is perfect for anybody who likes to take screenshots on their Mac or do screen recordings. What I like about this is it sits up here in my menu bar. And if I just click this icon here, it gives me all of the options. I could actually do a whole video on this application because there are so many features, but I'll quickly just go over a couple. So for screenshots, you can go capture area and then you can select the area that you want to capture. And then once it's taken the screenshot, it actually brings up this editing tool 
and in here you can do annotations straight away on your picture before saving it so yeah you can like add text and you know do whatever you want to the picture and then you can save it so this makes it super quick and convenient to just take a screenshot and also add any annotations you want to do capture text ocr is if you have an image or a video with text in it that you want to copy so let's say this here is just an image i want to copy that it's going to copy that text to a clipboard so then now i can just paste that text onto anything I want. So that is also a really handy thing to have. And then we have screen recording and this app is great for screen recording. So if we just click screen record. So before you start a screen recording, this will pop up and this is where you can set everything up how you want it. So right now my screen is set up to my max screen. Put in any number you want. So if you just want a 1920 by 1080 or you can crop it and change the aspect ratio down here then you have more settings over here so this is where you can come change the resolution of the video recording so if you're doing a tutorial and you want to show your keystrokes on the screen as you're pressing them on the keyboard you can tick this option if you click here this is going to show what your cursor is going to look like so if you want to change the color as you're clicking around and then if we come back over here you can select your microphone then this one here is your computer's audio so you can use your webcam and have a little picture down the bottom here so you can have that and you have a whole bunch of settings you can change the size of it um, you can change the shape so you have heaps of options in here so this is for the clicks so if you want your little clicks to have that little splash around it you can use that and here is for the keystrokes so then once you've done all of your settings, all you have to do is click record and you can record your screen. And then once you're finished recording, you just come down here and hit stop and it opens it up in an editor, which is really good. So you can make any last little changes in here and then convert it into your video file. So I really enjoy using this for doing my screen recordings. So if you want to go check out CleanShot X, you can go to their website and you can do it through a one-time purchase of $29. Or this is also another one that you can get through Set App. This next app has made a huge difference in keeping my MacBook running smoothly, Clean My Mac X, which is also today's video sponsor. This all-in-one utility ensures my Mac runs efficiently, which is crucial when multitasking with various applications. One feature I really love is the Smart Scan. It quickly scans my entire system for junk files, potential threats, and system log files, optimizing everything with just one click. Clean My Mac X also includes a fantastic uninstall feature. This tool helps me to completely remove applications I no longer need along with their associated files. This ensures no leftover files are taking up space and potentially slowing down my system. It's so much more efficient than just dragging an app into the trash. If you're like me and appreciate convenience and ease of use, Clean My Mac X is a must have. It keeps everything running efficiently so I can focus on my work without any interruptions. If you're interested, check out the link in the description for more details. Okay, so up next we have ChatGPT. Now, everybody probably already uses this or knows about it. If you don't know about it, ChatGPT is an AI-powered tool that you can have conversations with. It can answer your questions and help you with any writing tasks. So most people just use this through the web browser, which is fine, but now you can download ChatGPT onto your Mac. So this is great because this gives you a desktop icon. So I'll leave the download link in the description below. Below. So you can see here we can now open ChatGPT as an app. So this is really handy, but my favorite part of it is that there's a keyboard shortcut. So I can close out of ChatGPT and then I can press option space and this is going to bring up a little message bar and then I can just type my question to chat GPT directly into this and then it's going to open up an answer in the actual app so I just find it super convenient and quick to be able to do that instead of navigating to a web browser or even opening the app So if you haven't been using ChatGPT, I definitely recommend downloading it and giving it a go. It's free. There is a paid version, but I just use the free one, but it's definitely a really handy tool to have. So this next app is called Amphetamine, and what this app does is it keeps your computer awake. So let's say that you're downloading a really large file and you don't want your computer to go to sleep. You can come up to your menu bar and click on the icon and then you can choose one of these options to 
keep your computer awake. So if you just want it to stay on permanently and not turn off, you can choose indefinitely or you can choose the amount of minutes or hours or you can just have it while file is downloading. There's heaps of other settings you can play around with as well. I use this app for when I'm filming my YouTube videos. I like to have my computer monitors on in the background. And before I got this app, my screensaver would always turn on in the middle of recording, which was really annoying. So now I use this app, I can switch this on and my computer monitors will just stay on until I tell it otherwise. This is a free app, so you can get this from the app store so yeah, this is a really handy app for keeping your monitors awake. So this next one is for a password manager, which I think is something everybody should have to keep track of your passwords. It's not really very safe to be using the same password for every login for every website. Um, that just makes you very vulnerable to getting hacked. So it is recommended that you should have a different password for every service that you use. So obviously that can be hard to manage. You can't really remember that all in your head. So using something like a password manager is a great idea. So the one I've been using for the last probably eight years is Dashlane. I started off with their free plan and on their free plan you get up to 25 passwords on one device and then I moved over to their premium which also get a few other features like a VPN which is really good. So to sign up you would go through their website and sign up and then once you've signed up you can put the app onto your Mac through the App Store. There's also a Chrome extension. So when you're using Google Chrome as your browser, or I think you can even do it on Safari. In this picture here, they're doing it in Safari. You can browse to whatever website you want to log into and a little drop down comes up and you can just click on your email and then it will put in the password for you. So that's really handy to have. Um, it has a password generator. If you have trouble thinking of really hard passwords, this will do it for you. And then you don't have to remember because it's going to auto fill into the websites when you go to log in. It's available on all platforms. So having a password manager is a really good thing to have. It just keeps all your passwords in a secure place so you can access them and then you have no worries of forgetting your passwords and not being able to log into something. So this app is called Paste and it's a clipboard manager. With this, you can access your clipboard across all your devices. So this one's really simple. If you just come up to your menu bar, you have the paste icon. And in here is where you can access all of your clipboard history. I won't show you my clipboard history, but under here, it's just my history for everything I've copied. And then I've also got another category for things I regularly need to paste for YouTube. Then you can have as many other lists as you want and you can rename them. You can change the color so they're easy to see. Also have some settings. The important settings that you should always look out for when using a clipboard manager is under rules. You always want to make sure that they don't save your passwords in the history because this is just not a very safe thing to do. So I also have it ignore applications like my password manager or the keychain because you don't want to be saving any of your passwords in your clipboard just for security reasons. Always make sure your clipboard manager has a feature like this. I think that's very important. But yeah, this is a really simple one. I just like to be able to access my history because I'm always finding I'm using these things multiple times and it's just super convenient I can come up here and access my clipboard history to find what I need to paste again. So yeah, if you want this app, you can get it from the app store on a subscription, but I use this one as well through set app. So I only came across this app a few days ago, but I had to add it to this list of my top 10 apps because it is a really good app. So this one is called Dropover. I'll just demonstrate what it does. So if you come over to your finder, and you want to move a file or multiple files to another location. You click on the file, give it a shake, and then you can add it to a shelf. And this is going to store your files in it. And you can move this shelf anywhere on your screen. And then you can browse to the location that you want to move the files to. And then you can grab the files from the shelf and just drop them in. So this just makes things super easy instead of having like two finder windows open and trying to fit them on your screen and stuff like that. And then once you're finished with these files, you can either keep them in here or you can just click close to get rid of them. If you come up here, you have a whole bunch of other options for sharing them, airdrop or anything like that. This app comes with a 14 day trial. And then after the 14 day trial, it's $9.99 to get the pro version without any limitations. I think this is Australian because when you come to their website, 
it says it's $5.99 so I think this could possibly be US dollars now for the limitations so I'm, I'm thinking once my 14 day of trial finishes I can still use it for free there will be a forced waiting time of three seconds before interacting with a shelf so three seconds isn't long so I think that should be fine if you want to keep using it for free so if you want to check out drop over you can go over to the app store and search drop over and you can start your 14 day free trial but yeah this is a super simple but really helpful app so that's it for this video if you want to check out any of the apps that I've mentioned I'll leave links in the description below and feel free to leave a comment with any of your favorite apps that you use I hope you found this video helpful and if you did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching